I just sat all the way around. You've got a family and a community that wants answers. Uh, former prosecutor Bob Bianchi joins me now. Bob, you and I, we watched this uh, play out. They've set a deadline for Monday at noon to get some information out there. Do you think they're getting a hold of this, or do you think it's still out of control, the whole way it's being handled? No, it's spinning completely out of control, Mike. First off, the cops didn't do the right thing by not immediately turning it over to an independent investigation. Then they blame Mr. Bradford as being the shooter, which turns out to be inadequate, uh, inaccurate. Then they say he was brandishing a gun, which turns out to be inaccurate. So they've already lost the trust of the community, so I understand why the community is agitated. Nevertheless, everybody reset. Stop. A new agency has it. They're the ones that should be doing the investigation and all the media, not the politicians. It's the tail wagging the dog here. And to demand investigative information that could potentially be subject to a grand jury investigation and threaten that if that tape doesn't come out, that they're going to take action, again, is politicians that are trying to score points or maybe calm the community, but it's exacerbating things. Let the independent agency do their investigation. If so long as that video comes out, it doesn't taint the investigation, taint witnesses, and it doesn't harm the investigation, then that tape should come out as soon as possible. But making demands like this, I've investigated cases with MVRs and tapes like this where it was pretty clear what happened. I held back, slow down. When we're done doing our investigation, it will come out. And sometimes that takes two, three months to do it the right way. But unfortunately, Mike, this is spinning out of control. Got it. What is, so you've said you've been involved in situations like this. I mean, it's sad. Isn't number one, you've got to come alongside that family and, and you know, in through their grief versus make it adversarial? Absolutely, Mike. Listen, I'll tell you an actual case where there was a fatal, fatality, police-related shooting of a minority. The minute I left that scene, I ordered my chief to get the community leaders that we had established great relationships with in my office by 2 o'clock that afternoon, as well as the fact that I got the, reached out to the victim's family, as I did the police chief, and, I, and separately calmed everybody down. I said, you know me. We have a relationship with each other. Let me do this right. I don't want this to become a political force in the media. And that's exactly what's going on in this case. Because you want to reassure family, justice will be served. We will get to the truth. Absolutely. Right? I, listen, I, I am an independent person. I, I, you try to do your best. It's going to be a grand jury investigation. You tell the family, we're sorry for your loss. We're going to do everything we can to investigate everything. If the cop was wrong, they will be indicted. If the cop was not wrong, they're not going to be indicted. But give me the time to do it correctly, and it never fails. People know when you're being honest and trying to do the right thing. Well, now, again, we have a Monday deadline that information will be released. Uh, and we know there was also a very emotional meeting between city officials and the family yesterday. Uh, I think everybody hopes that goes a long way toward healing and, and, and coming together. Bob, thanks again. Appreciate it. You got it, Mike.